A senior here in Northeast Indiana has been sewing masks, not just for her family, but for others out on the front lines. So far, she's made more than 500 masks. An example that we're all in this together. ABC 21's Tony Benton Jr. shows us. A local senior has been making masks for her family and neighbors, as well as first responders and healthcare workers. Brenda Hockenberry is retired, 38 years at Franklin Electric in Bluffton, and she has MS. With the doctor's orders to stay at home because of her weak immune system, she says she has time on her hands and she'd like to use it to help others. There's a lot of people that don't have them and uh, I'm, I'm here. All they gotta do is call me. I'll make them one, two, whatever they need. A family friend of hers, Tammy Meyer, has been doing everything that she can to help distribute the masks. Tammy says due to Brenda's underlying condition, not only is she not able to leave the house, but she's not able to have many visitors either. The whole entire family's had to maintain the social distancing because of Brenda's underlying health conditions. Um, so really Brenda's had no visitors. Um, so what keeps her busy during the day and keeps her motivated is being able to make these masks to help everybody else. And Brenda says that she doesn't do it for any money or recognition. She just wants to help save lives. If I can just save one person's life, and I've done my job. Some of the recipients of her mask donations include hospitals, families, friends, and even some Chick-fil-A's. Another would be the folks over at Georgetown Place, and they're grateful for whenever they're able to receive these generous gifts from Brenda. It's amazing. The need for PPE in our community and to keep all of our seniors safe each day is the most vital to our residents. So having a partnership with Premier Hospice and her friend donating these to us it's just amazing. From family and friends to neighbors and strangers, Tammy and Brenda are both thankful to be able to take this journey together. And Tammy's just been a special person to me. I told her the other day, I said, you're my biggest hero. Aww. And uh, she always pats, like, pats me on the back. It's just been you know, a tremendous um, little journey that we've been on together, Brenda, and I really, really love you and I appreciate you so much. And I love you too. Tony Benton Jr., ABC 21 News.